Guys, is it uh, audible, visible? Yes, sir. Okay. I hope uh, you guys completed uh, the last class. Like, what were the topics we discussed? How many topics we discussed in the last class? The, this is the class two. Class two it is. So can you guys confirm me like what we discussed in the last class? So we have discussed all this. Item creation. What is on hand quantity creation? This is the one we discussed. Other one is on hand quantity. The next till shipping we discussed. Okay. So next step will be here. Count receivable invoice. To create an invoice, what we can do, we'll run a workflow background process. This is a standard concurrent program. It will call here auto invoice master program. Then auto invoice import program. These are all the two programs here. We will see like, uh, first we will run a workflow background process. Go to your order management here. There are certain parameters we have to pass here. can okay fine this is the way we can submit it Click on refresh data. So there are various other uh, programs submitted here. We need to just open this output. You can see here. So there are certain rejected records. The reason behind that here is uh, there is a period related issue. Unable to derive a GL date for your transaction. Whatever you are entering, the period receivable period 
you can go to receivables control we can use accounting open close periods your ledger name your current month you have to open here so this is the way it will accept any transactions from other modules so whatever you are importing into account receivables it must be open here so now what i can do i'll uh, i'll revise all the things here from order entry onwards so i'll proceed till invoice go to order management here We have to check availability. So right now zero. And last time we created some other. This is the one we discussed. We'll see the availability. On hand quantity is 796 till no worries. Back order, book order. So it is failed to satisfy. The reason is some other order it has taken up. So not what I'll take some other item. Can clear this record. Check the availability again. We have some quantity. Order is not eligible for booking. Okay. Let me see the status. Okay, so this line we can delete it or cancel that particular line. Discontinued item. First line I have cancelled. Okay. Then it must be awaiting shipping here. So why I have cancelled this? It doesn't have a quantity. So it will become a back order again unnecessarily. Take this order. Your order number is this one. Booking, pick release and shipping. At a time we can do the navigation here is uh, shipping release sales order release sales order there is a rule here that rule will help you execute now All the picking, pick release and shipping related programs will be submitted automatically. You'll have to wait for a few seconds. Guys, meantime, if you have any questions, you can ask me online. Sir, is it possible to uh, uh, create an order if the order due date was expired also? Due date is expired. Which one? Uh, yesterday, I have seen uh, one laptop, uh, Asus Ryzen laptop, that uh, order was expired. Due date was expired in 2021. That's it. Okay, due date on which, like item? Ah, yes, sir, item. Show me after this class, so we'll see. Okay, sir. Your good name? Wally, sir. Wally. Yes, sir. You are attending offline only or online? Regular? Yes, sir. Offline, sir. After class, I will come, sir. Okay. Better come regular. Yes, sir. So, you are shipped here. 
okay so till here we completed yesterday and uh, now the next point here is what it is this is the one we are talking about workflow background process due to the period issue like we failed to create an invoice now run a same program we can close all this Uh, instead of typing all this, you can copy from previously executed programs here, like this. The advantage is it will populate automatically all the parameters. Refresh. and refresh it there is a program here auto invoice import program we can click on view output here you can see earlier it was rejected count if you look at notice the previous output you can see the rejected count is one and rejected reason also we have seen here this is a period related issue and now it is successfully processed, but it has not given any uh, number, invoice number. Invoice amount is also given, but invoice number is not given here. So to check invoice number, you can go to receivables responsibility. In transaction, transaction is invoice number. Oh, F11. Your order reference number is order number. Source is you quoted for order entry. You can see the invoice here. Check the table behind this is RA customer TRX all. This is a table name RA customer TRX. All it is. There is a column here interface header attribute one. You can check, or else there is a book view. 
and here is the place you can scroll down interface at attribute one is the column name here it will have a sales order number there are many columns in this more than 150 200 columns are there so here is the place interface header attribute one and then attribute 10 these are all the various attributes and your context is here order entry if you want to combine the sales order table then oe order header all. join between these two is order number it's a number data type here so if you want to convert into character then we can use to care of conversion function at is is equal to interface at attribute one it is this is the one line attributes why line attributes here interface this is a column yeah only ask me we how to change Is away. Now we are looking for a specific order number or transaction number also we can take it or C A, A is enough okay or RCT is fine. Let's start a line level alias. The Rx number is the invoice number which we generated here. This is the transaction number. In this, your interface header attribute one. Somewhere you can check column name. This is the one. 705 so this is having a order number here and this order type here and this is a delivery so all the three are important like you can see here interface better attribute one and there is one more also like let's see okay 10 so these are all the four values regularly so 10 is like your warehouse your warehouse is m1 right it is having a warehouse Attribute 3 is delivery ID. Attribute 2 is order type. And this is order number. So we have generated an invoice from existing order, but still for reference, these are all the attribute columns stored all this extra information from order management. So if you look at here, like, here is the place. This one, this is a sales order number, this is the order type, and this is a delivery ID, and one more is 10th. 10th is the warehouse. Okay, these are all four we'll use regularly. So, this is the join between join between order management and account receivable, or in other words, join between order number and invoice number.
we are combining two modules tables. This is important actually. At line level also we can make a join. Line level means here, you can go to line items. Then go to help record history. It will not give you the history here. When our history is not available, you can go to, yes, that is system last query. But still, as it is a line level, then I no need to go much deeper inside of it. You can check here. RA customer TRX line salt table it is. And the join condition is here, this one. Customer TRX ID. Okay, like uh, what we can do at line level. And check uh, OE order headers all O H and this line number R C T L where O H dot your order number column is equivalent to R C T L dot sales order column. This is a column. Both are different data types. Definitely conversion function is really required here. Now, customer TRX said we have not noted down here. It is available in RA customer TRX all. Customer TRX So we have typed wrongly. We would have typed here. So this is a TRX ID. This is a join between header table and line table. What we can do? RCTL dot your column name, TRX ID. Whatever we copy. That's it. Your order number is 70509. In the same way, sales order column also will have the same. You can see here, or better you type it here. So both the columns, you can type it. Both are same. So one is header level join. This is the header level join. And this is the line level join it is. You can format it. Commands here, shift, control, F for formatting. So two shortcuts we haven't noted down as of now. Like these are all the two shortcuts. So one is here. If I want to execute the statement, place the cursor, control, enter. Control plus enter to execute SQL statement. Then shift. Control plus F. That's for formatting query. Then to describe any database object, we can use F4. Describe database object. It may be a table, view, or, or anything, or procedure. Like this. These are all the two shortcuts. These three we'll use regularly. We'll keep adding whenever it is it comes new shortcuts. These are all the three. Now one more also that is another join that is line level to line level. Join between OEM order line level, order management line level, and account receivable invoice line level. So line level means line level table of sales order management. Yesterday we have discussed like what is the line level table that is 
we order line solve in the same way here also what is another uh, join here uh, another table right rx customer trx line solve line to line see uh, these are all header so this is a header table line table and these are all uh, this is a header table and here also header table header to header header to line line to line all the three joins are important so select star means all the columns from join conditions you need to remember where dot line id so it is not uh, giving all the columns means there could be some spelling mistakes here trx line so okay like this now press dot it will list out all the columns like this due to the space issue it has not given line id is equal to interface line attribute six it is these are all the only six column you have to take in the application also you can check if you click on this this one these are all line id the line id is having a line attribute six it is this one this is a line id coming from order management 9022888 is coming from order management just check if you want you can check here two tables oe order header sort then oe order line sort dot header id okay your order number that is 70599 we need a line id 902278 Eight seven or eight eight, whatever that you can see. So line ID is line ID from order management, but in account receivables, the column name is one, two, three, four, five, six. It is that's a line attribute six. Okay, line attribute six is having a line ID. This is the way we can derive it. The sales order number it is displayed. Okay. So overall, three things we have seen. After creating an invoice, here after creating invoice, three things we have seen. What are they? One is link between OM and AR header level. One more is header and line level. And other one is line to line. Overall three giants we have seen. Can you tell me the answer for all these three? What is the giant between OM and AR header level? OER header solve. Okay. Okay. Giant condition. Giant condition you have to say. See? Right. This is the one. Order number from OE order header solve. Then interface header attribute one from RA customer TRX solve. RCT means RA customer TRX solve. And how about header and line? 
OE or Redasol. Okay, join condition. Order. Okay. Then. Okay, Arika customer TRX line solve. This call. Okay. And how about this? Line to line. See, line to line means first you need to mention the table. OE order line solve. Dot. Okay. So join also you have to tell. Line table is first what? OE order line solve. Column name? Line ID. Then next table name dot column name. Interface. Array customer TRX line dot. Interface. Line attribute. Six. You are okay right now? Whenever I ask, you can answer, right? After three, four days also. Okay. Guys, online, any doubts? These are all very important, actually, in interviews also. Online, no doubts? Now, next is auto ship. Back order, open sales order. These are all the points I am going to discuss. All are important. That's why I'm making a note and I'll explain you now. So first is here. Okay, next is. Purpose of whatever the next steps are there here after creating an invoice. Okay. Next step is AR received and then transfer to GL. These are all the two steps. I'm not going to explain now. We'll cover in the next class. Okay. These two steps. But before that, there are some cross questions are there here. These are all the cross questions. So we'll see what by one. First is auto ship. Just before also I shown you auto ship. Like I'll show you where exactly it comes. Go to order management. Then order return sales orders. Availability every time you have to check and book order. Take this order number. Now, after order entry and booking, pick release and shipping, actually we are going to execute together. It is sequentially. First step, it will take pick release. Second take shipping, automatically it will take it ahead. So for that, auto ship will use. So where we can see is go to shipping here, release sales orders. Go to inventory, uh, shipping. Here is the place. This is the one here. It's a rule actually. If you mention this rule, shipping you don't need to do manually. Automatically it will take. So this is called as an auto ship here. See, click on execute now. Okay, go to requests, right, like this. Here it has mentioned, uh, it has executed two things here. One is pick release related programs and shipping related programs. Okay, that's about the auto ship. Back order, yesterday we have seen here, due to insufficient stock actually, it will become a back order. Oh, back order where exactly you can see? Which table? Delivery table, right? Delivery details. Release status will be B here. I think I don't need to explain. In the last class we have seen. Open sales order. Open sales order means your sales order state is in pending. So for example, here uh, there is a 
table or a OE order line so flag will be there here checkbox it is flag means checkbox yes or no so take the column name here just taking here I don't want to type see the status so why means it is open means it is stuck in between okay not at yeah not at fully finished right this one so it is stuck at invoice level receipt is not yet created it is not transferred to gl so that's why it is called as a open open invoice uh, open sales order sorry open sales order how we can do by using a flag here open flag flag is value is equal to in the same way, open invoices also. Open means pending, simply we can say. Somewhere it is pending, okay, in the flow. Open invoice means here also there is a flag or a customer TRX all. There is a complete flag, it will be there here. Complete flag. Can I see here? This is one. Okay. If you want to display complete invoices through backend, complete flag we can use. Or incomplete invoices also save. This is also in. Okay, it's not yet completed. It is complete flag. Now next is sales representative. Sales representative where you can see is you can go to sales order. Here is the place, sales representative. Save. So this sales representative we need to derive. So how to derive here is, there will be a join between sales rep table and then order management table. So sales representative table, you can go to help record history, you can find out in this table. That is JTF RS sales reps. So here is the place I would like to add one more table. JTF RS sales reps. I need to check whether it's correct or not. It's correct. So sales rep ID is a giant condition here. JRS. Okay. JRS dot sales rep ID. Then OH dot Name, name, we can take it. Take an, another name, another number, okay? Not display. line level it doesn't have information right that's why the outer join we, we may need to use now it will display like this so earlier the, it doesn't have a lines okay if you use outer join it will display matching as well as unmatching this is the sales representative name okay so for sales representative table name is jtfrs sales reps now, purpose of interface trip stop is important. Where exactly we can see that here is, you can proceed further. If you look at here, there is no quantity shipped column is updated. Not there. You will come back to this place again. Just observe this. And in the same way, what is available quantity? 
on hand quantity. On hand quantity table yesterday we have seen. Correct? Yeah. Right. First of all, item table. MTL system items B. B is for base table. Where your item name is stored into column. This inventory item ID is a primary key of this. Okay. Include here itself if you want. MTL on hand quantity. Join condition. There is a column here, transaction quantity. There are so many right here. Some we can use. But warehouse also important, right? Sub inventory code. Group by, right, group by is required. We are using some function in that, right? Correct. In the stores, there are 1953. And if you want to check in one specific warehouse, okay, you can check in a specific warehouse. MSI dot organization id is equal to 207 is it for uh, m1 that is for vision operations that is the correct count 651 is the stores correct count it is okay 651 it is but still some quantity is already reserved okay whatever it is showing it is showing in the warehouse m1 Okay, some quantity is already reserved for others. Anyway, you keep an eye on this transaction quantity 651. Now, whenever I am creating a new order, I will create an order with the 51 quantity so that you can easily observe here. Now, just change the quantity to 3 to 51. Availability. Then save. Two things it is going to happen. One is it is going to detect the quantity. This is the one point. Other one is there is a column. It will be updated here. That is quantity shipped column. As of now, it is null. Okay. Now let's do a pick release and shipping together. Go to shipping. Not booked, is it? It's not booked. Still at enter stage. Booked. Line level, you can see. It will be awaiting ship. Amount? Okay. Uh, that is in case of a PO actually. Here also you can set approvals, but right now it's okay. We are selling, right? Not a problem. Go to release sales orders. Here, what I need to do that is auto ship and packing. Yes, you can take it. Now, if you look at there is a program here interface trip stop. This is the program we are talking about. The purpose of this program is it will detect the quantity from MTL on hand quantities and it will update a shipper line quantity. So after completion of this only, we can check it. So earlier it was 651, right? Now 51 we have used. Let's see when it will detect. Do you see? There is a change here. 
600 quantity is there. 51 is detected here. So what's happening at uh, interface strip stop level? It is detecting the quantity from on hand quantity. And one more is go to sales order column, uh, sales order navigation. And there is a column name. Additionally, the column name is at line level. You can go to one column here. What is the column name? Quantity shift. Okay. If you go to V1 requests, find this program, it is not saying anything. That's why it is important. So people will ask you what exactly will happen at interface trip stop because it is not giving any information here. Backend, what it will do? It will perform two things. Can you answer me? That it will perform two things. One is detect on hand quantity from MTL on hand quantities. And second one is it will update column name. Column name is what? Quantity shift. Okay. So that's all for today, guys. Like I can continue, but you will not have a patience. These are all important. Uh, important questions also I covered here. Today, almost all our cross questions are here. Every point is important, whatever we are discussing. Don't ignore. In the next class, what we can do, we'll talk about ER receipt. Uh, after uh, ER invoice, there is one more. Accounting is there. Accounting. After ER receipt also, again, accounting we have to do. Overall, four steps pending here. Accounting, ER receipt, accounting again, and transfer to zero. In the next class, we can finish this O2C. Or it may take one more class. I'm not sure. Online, do, do you have any questions, guys? Guys, are you there? Oh, Sureka, like what we discussed today, overall, bullet points. Nikita? Raju? Guys, are you there? Madheshwaran, yes, what we discussed today? Overall bullet points. Yes, I wanted to auto uh, repeat. Sorry, can you repeat? Auto ship. Auto ship. Okay. And AR receipt. Your voice is very low, Madheshwaran. Hello? Your voice is very low. Can't hear me or? No, it's fine. Yeah, speak. Yeah, yeah. Auto ship. About the auto ship. We discuss. Okay. Then uh, AR receipt. Right. They are invoice, not receipt. Okay. Guys, please uh, concentrate on listening to the class. Prefer coming here. Okay. Hi. Yes. Okay. I'm closing the session. Do you have any questions before closing?